Okay. LS cam sensor conundrum solved. <laughs> okay. So that is going to be the title of this video. And I figured it out with a little bit of research on the internet. And I pulled out my laptop and I did a little research on service information, GM service information. And I've come up with an answer with this whole cam sensor and crank reluctor. And uh, basically I have to pull the front of the motor back apart on this to make it right. Okay, so we're gonna start from the beginning. This engine right here is a 04, 03, sorry, 0360. It has a 24 tooth, a 24X reluctor crankshaft in it. So that means the reluctor has 24 teeth, which looks like that. Okay. Now, now, when I put this motor in, that now this is a Gen 3 LS engine with Gen 4 rods. So it's a Gen 3. Let's just leave it at that. It's a Generation 3. When I put this 5.3 in, this is a Generation 4 5.3. And it originally came... with a 58 tooth crankshaft reluctor wheel, which I'm sure you guys, if you've been watching the channel, you've seen all of this. You've seen me do the swap, but that reluctor looks like that. Okay. Sorry, I'm jumping you guys around and everything. But <clears throat> now, when you do this swap, like I did, where you want to run a 24 tooth reluct crankshaft reluctor in a generation four, that is not the only thing you have to do because of the cam sensor and the cam reluct and the cam reluctor. Now, in this engine, the cam sensor is in the rear. And that is a one-time cam reluctor. Not crank reluctor, cam reluctor. So it's one time, so one revolution, basically. When I put the 24 tooth crank reluctor wheel in here, it still had the four time cam reluctor crank uh, cam sensor reluctor which actually it didn't it had the vvt bullshit which i deleted and i ordered a cam gear a cam sprocket but when i ordered that cam sprocket i'm going to show you what i ordered i ordered this cam sprocket okay now, when I ordered that cam sprocket, if you look at it, it's got one lug, two, three, four. That is wrong. That is a four time cam reluctor. That explains why this thing always started hard. When I put this motor in, it always had started hard. It always was a little luggish. I never could get the performance out of it. Now, deeper investigating, I found out that there is only one make, one model for two years that came out with a 24 tooth crankshaft reluctor and a one time cam reluctor that was in the front. 
and that would be a 2005 and 2006 GTO with a 6O. And that cam gear looks like this. If you look at it, it only has one lug. Now, if you look at the cam camshaft sensor that originally, that is in this, at the back side of the cam, it's got a half a moon shape where that cam sensor picks up. So one time means one lug, four time means four lugs. That's why this motor, I can never get it to perform correct. So needless to say, tomorrow at work, I have to order the correct sprocket. Hopefully I can get it. So if any of you guys are doing this conversion, which I don't know why you would, but who knows? Maybe you have the same excuse I did. You already had the computer, you had the harness, you had everything wired. You don't want to have to change computers and change harnesses and change all that. You just want to change the reluctor and make your shit run. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. But um, the GM number, what you're going to want is... It's 125.76.407 is the correct sprocket. It's a one-time sprocket. Mounts in the front. So that means you have the cam sensor in the front. So if you're using a Gen 4 block, that's what you need. Oh, this is brutal. So anyways, I have to order that and I have to take the motor apart, time it, change the cam gear, and then continue. So no matter what Holly does for me tomorrow, it ain't going to help. Because I still have to change that fucking gear. So. And tomorrow I'm going to have to look at. 0506 GTO. And see what. See if the cam sensor. Is the same. And see if the cam sensor wiring. Is the same. As a one time. Cam. Generation 3. If it is not. If it is wired like an O. Like a. A, a regular. 58x then we're gonna have to get crafty but anyways there's your cam sensor conundrum for the evening